Okay, here we have a demonstration of the Pixel Pusher Turbo Mode. Um, as you can see, it's pushing these strips quite quickly. Um, if you look at the uh, oscilloscope, you can see that we're actually driving them at about 16 megahertz. Um, unfortunately, I only have a two-channel scope, um, so I can't show you right now, but uh, it's driving both of these strips simultaneously. Um, and we have uh, the special connector layout that's required for this turbo mode where um, each strip has two connectors. Um, it's just the way the pinouts worked out for our PCB. So in turbo mode, um, each strip is connected to two separate strip connectors in, in this staggered layout, as you can see. And right now, if it focuses, let me try a little further away. There we go. It's pushing about every um, 300 microseconds, 340-ish, sometimes as long as 400. Um, I currently have the frame limit on this set to 1000, uh, so it's it's a thousand frames a second approximately. Um, so uh, unfortunately, although the Pixel Pusher is capable of 24 megahertz operation and it it does actually drive it quite nicely, the um, the strips don't manage to go quite that quickly. Um, this is this is as fast as we can get it to go, unfortunately. Um, the speed is a configurable option. Um, I scale this down so you can see the whole burst. We're running the um, we're running a whole strip in uh, approximately. 440 microseconds. Um, this is running over Wi-Fi at the moment, so uh, the latency is rather variable. Um, but as you can see, if you look at the frequency of the, the bursts, it's about one kilohertz. Sometimes drops a little bit lower because of um, the network latency. And there you have it, Pixel Pusher Turbo Mode. It will be available in firmware 1.12 um, with the new frame limit option in the uh, version of library that will be released at that time.